He's one of my heroes. Please give a great welcome to Wiz Jones. You're gonna quit me, baby. Good as I be to you, Lord, Lord. There used to be this thing called the Brighton Raves, you know, was it, which, uh, I mean, most famous probably member of that kind of thing was Rod Stewart, but we used to get a milk train down to Brighton, or some of them did, from Soho. I hitchhiked down the Pearly Way, and I knew Wiz by reputation. You know, I was about 16 or something, and I saw this character sitting on Brighton Beach playing the most battered guitar in the world and realised I might be staring at Wiz Jones, and of course it did turn out to be him, but we didn't speak at that time. And, uh, that was my first glimpse of yeah. the legendary Wiz, yeah. Give you money, honey, to buy you shoes and clothes, Lord, Lord. You know, it's embarrassing for him to hear me say it, but he's a unique talent, and we all, all the guys that play guitar from my generation owe something to this man, because he was the first one that, that's why you hear about Jimmy Page and coming to gigs, and, and Rod Stewart, and uh, Eric Clapton, and Keith Richard, they all talk about Wiz, because he was the only one that was playing this kind of earthy blue stuff, not the slick Chicago stuff, well, not that that's particularly slick, but the, the more earthy Lemon Jefferson sort of free form, if you like, free form, 13 bar blues is one of Wiz's specialities. Everybody else plays 12, but you always <laughs> run a couple of extras in yeah, there I can, I can to keep, wrong for everybody. I like. can keep tempo, but I can't count. So if there's a drummer in the audience, so I feel really <laughs> sorry for him, you know. No, we love it. I think it's part of the reason we got attracted to the music in the first place, is a lovely free sort of style of playing. But also, Wiz is, he, you know, I have to say this, Wiz, I'm sorry if it's embarrassing, but Wiz chooses wonderful songs to sing as well, and he writes his own songs. Well, that's because well. I'm not a songwriter. You well, know? You've I done write, quite well. I write a few, but I'm not really a songwriter. I don't take it seriously. And I love interpreting other people's material, so I'm much happier singing someone else's song. But sometimes one gets so inspired, doesn't one? One just well, has to write it. Has song. to write it down. Well, <laughs> Once you, every you, ten years or something. Well, you've done, they're, they're very highly individual songs, the ones that Wiz write. And it, they certainly had an appeal to Mr Springsteen, who, who did one of uh, Wiz's, uh, you know, When I Leave Berlin, which is a great song as well. Some of us are in evil, and some are not wanted. Our work contracts out and so many people record with click tracks and da 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 before they even start. This is, a, this is a click track. This is Miss Man's Rhythm is second to none. He's a fantastic rhythm guitar player as well as everything else. So we just went in and I knew once we'd sat down we said, well, we'll do this one. Wiz came up with three or four songs and I came up with a couple of old bluesy things and uh, we just said press the tape and away we went and a couple of times we did two takes but not that many mm, times did yeah, we? it was just yeah, yeah. first feel and we just hoped um, that that kind of immediacy would would appeal my roots are in the in in the acoustic blues thing and as Wiz said, ragtime and, and fingerstyle playing. Wiz is a flat picker and fingerstyle and he plays in a very unique style. So we were sort of nodding back at the things that almost were there at the start, or songs that sound very similar to the ones we, we, we were attracted to in the beginning. When you're gone, hope you won't be long, honey, honey dear. You could always think, I wonder if it would have been much better if we spent a lot more time, but I have my doubts. It would, what we were trying to get is essentially what we had when we were years ago and, and younger and doing the, the thing we did with a lightness of heart and a lightness of touch. With a touch of senility. Yes, a touch a bit, you know, we have Just to have prompt sheets sometimes. Leavened with senility. <laughs> yeah, but yeah I, I've always said I, I don't like to see a music stand on stage but I've got one tonight. <laughs> if you've ever wrestled with a Bob Dylan lyric, you'd know that was my excuse. And I thought, well, I'll keep it up there for the others as well, just in case. In 2016, it will be 50 years since Wiz invited me to Cornwall. And I don't know where the bloody time has gone. It's amazing to think. Uh, it's just very scary. And I think we both feel very fortunate in a way. We're still doing what we like to do best. and. Uh, it's about time we did this. And that's the title of the album. 